the very first date. I remember coming in in one of the uh, pilots and stuff, and I said, hey, if you look over there to your left, uh, that's the Pakistan, you know, way in like, you know, we all, okay, that's Pakistan. And then they all mount, you know, high elevation. And as you go in elevation, it starts to get a little bit colder. And then we go up into the Korangal Valley. I remember looking out the uh, little bubble windows on the side, kind of just like this, because I was right next to the window. And I could see when the Chinook had made a hard right turn into the valley, I was like, holy sh We're not ready for this. Well, we flew around for about half hour, 45 minutes above the top. And you're just looking down and you're like, this is in the middle of nowhere right now. You're, you're away from everything. Honestly, when I first got to the corn I was like, this is a <laughs> My mindset was like, oh snap, I'm gonna die here. I remember getting off the bird and walking up the hill to the hooch. Hey, Jones, you guys standing up right there? You're wrong. And just sucking. And thinking, what are we doing? It started getting dark, and uh, the monkeys were howling. And I thought they were Taliban. And I thought, oh, shit, they're close. Everybody's like, oh, you're going to the Korangal? Oh, and they feel sorry for you and everything like that. I'm like, dude, it can't be that bad, you know? Show up there, and you're burning your own feces. You know, you're, you're living in a tent. I literally lived in a, a bunker, you know, about that high I couldn't even stand up in. See bullet holes all rattled into the Hescos. And when you look up, it's like, I don't even know why I have Hescos here, because they're not going to stop the bullets that are coming down from the mountains, so. I felt like I was, I was like fish in a barrel. 